Hey there everyone, it's Ravindra Devrani back with another video and we are continuing the C-sharp tutorial series and in this video we are going to discuss about conditional statements in C-sharp. If you find this video helpful then please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed the channel then subscribe this channel. So let's get started. Conditional statements are used to execute your code in some certain condition. It means if you have some certain condition and only on that condition you want to execute that code or the line of statements you want to execute in some certain conditions then you can use either one of these statements first one is if then if else the next one is if else if and the last one is switch statement so let's discuss this if statement so for that we are going to create a new class let's name it part 5 part 5 fine and again I'm gonna create this public static void main and we are going to change the startup project Okay, so here let's select this part 5. Fine. Now, so let's start with if statement. And if you have some certain condition, then you can use if statement. Let's see what it means. So let's say if x and int x equal to 6 if x is less than equals to 6 then this statement is going these statements are going to execute so right here console dot right line numbers are less than 6 So it is a true st statement. So it is going to be print. Numbers are less than 6. But if x equal to 7. Fine. And if we try to execute this program. Let's see what happens. Nothing is going to be printed. Because this condition is false now. Now, if we write here else, it means if numbers are less than 6, then this line will be printed. And otherwise, this line will be printed. So, number is greater than 6. Okay, and number is less than 6. Fine. So let's see what it is going to print and it has printed number is greater than 6 which is absolutely right. So that is your if else statement and if we write here else if x equals to 6 and just write here console.write console.write line number is 6 so now we are matching the three conditions if number if x is less than 6 it means number is less than 6 if x equals to 6 then number is 6 otherwise number is greater than 6 so let's run this program let's see number is greater than 6 which is absolutely right okay so what we are going to do, we are going to take this input from the user. For that, we have this thing called console.readline. Console.readline. And if we want to take input from user, we have to use this console.readline. So right here, console.readline 
because it's a string type then we need to convert it to integer so convert dot to into 32 okay fine and right here console dot right line enter any number I'm gonna write here console dot write console dot write line enter a new line by default so we are not going to use console dot write line here I'm gonna I'm just gonna stick with console dot write press this start button and it is asking enter any number let's see four number is less than six which is absolutely fine so let's type here six number is less than six and why it is happening because of this condition now fine okay so now let's type here six it will say number is six and if we type here eight so number is greater than six so that's the case of else if if we write here else if x equals to equals to seven it means number is seven else if number else if we are going to put one more condition here and right here x is greater than eight otherwise number is greater than 8 so if we type here 7 it is definitely giving us number is 7 if we type here 8 then it will definitely give us number is 7 I haven't changed it okay so I have to change it here number is 8 also let's check it again number is 8 but if we put 9 here then it will say number is greater than 8 but here is a problem if we have multiple conditions so we have to put these multiple else if condition here if we want to avoid it we have to use switch statement for that so let's use a switch statement so I am going to use another class for that I use this class and create a new class name is part 5 switch dot cs and i am going to copy this main method and definitely we are going to change the startup project for that because we have multiple main methods now part 5 switch okay now how we can fix this problem because we have to use multiple else if condition here to avoid that we can use switch and okay so just remove all of this and right here switch okay switch s w i t c h switch x first case will be case one means if one is coming if x equals to equals to one it means x equals to equals to one
so in this case if we have x equals to equals to 1 then we are gonna write here number is 1 break that's the case 1 it means x equals to equals to 1 case 2 number is 2 case 3 it means x equals to equals to 3 number is 3 case 4 number is 4 and we will define a default case default console dot right line number is greater than 4 let's define the case 0 also here and case 0 number is 0 number is greater than 4 type break here so let's see type here case 0 enter number 0 number is 0 number is 1 so it is the case 1 case 2 number is 2 and if we type outside of these numbers like 0 1 2 3 4 if we type any number which do not comes under these number it means if I type here 5 or 6 or 7 it would display this default case so let's test this and if I type here 5 it is saying number is greater than 4 if I type here 100 number is greater than 4 that's it So that's how a switch statement works. So that's it for now. We will catch up in next video.